you can see it. Uh, so, all right, it's in there. Got my guy. See my guy? Here's my guy. And I'm just going to push him back right there. And push him back. Alright, and then we're going to... Jack, jack, jack. Hey. Sorry, one hand, man. Jack, jack, jack. It's quiet. It's not loud and obnoxious. Jack, jack, jack. You know, nomadic is faster. This guy's just being crazy. Jack, 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 jack. All right, now we're getting tight. It's not like super hot, but it's hot enough that if you leave your hand on there, it'll burn it. All right, so now we can give it a little peeky peek, sneaky peek, and then squish. Keep an eye on your time. We're at 45 and a half, so at 50 and a half will be done. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to squish until it's tight. All right, once it's tight, like that right there, it's tight. And then we're going to wait for a minute, and then we'll move on. Don't expect much from this. Honestly, I really don't. Don't expect much. Because um, <clears throat> there's only a gram in there. Now the math... Okay, the math, in theory, I should, get, I should get a half gram. Should get a half gram of oil. If I get this right, if I squish all of it out. Like, wring it completely out. Alright. So, it's just, is that a minute right there? Just about at a minute. Just about. All right, there's a minute. So now what we're going to do is we're going to crank it back up, okay? And we're going to come down a quarter, okay, for another minute. Now, eventually what I'm going to do is I'm going to put pressure gauge on here, timer, all that. I'm just, this is just, you know, my, my do-it-yourself at home. But for me to build these, you know, using, building a dab, Basically, a dab press using dab press. Um, but with that said, I, I, I'm a hundred percent confident in my abilities to be able to produce this. You know, and I'm not even kidding you. I'm seeing oil. I'm already seeing oil. Like, say it. it it's look. That's oil right there. All right. So we're at another minute. We're gonna go again. I'm going to come down to the halfway point. There's a halfway right there. All right. And then we should leave it there. Now, that should be full. Like, the last minute, I'll give it one more extra. Just, like, a little extra. But we're getting... There's, like, there's some... See it? Mushing out. That's why you got to save your bags, because then you can, any residual you get out, you can, um, you'll get it out if you cook with them. And they're super cool, because right, it's already in a nylon thing. So. I, I just, man. I, it just, the reason why I did this, because there's a couple reasons. It needed to be done, and I think I can do it better than the other people out there who are doing it and saying that they're, you know, they're the best or they're this or that. And I'm not taking anything away from them, I'm just saying. All right, now the last minute, I give it one last. I don't want to go too much. I don't want to go crazy. Okay, I don't, because I, I, you know. Just got to get up in here. Let me show you. Now, there's going to be, hopefully, say, <clears throat> in the bag, there's going to be leftover. We can't help that. Cannot help that. Absolutely cannot help that. You know? Can't. It just is what it is. So, 
Let's see. Oh, you put this. That's that's it right there. I'm gonna give it another right five minute increments. Let it sit. You know the worst that happens is I get it's such a low temperature. Um, and I was gonna turn the temperature up, but I'm 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 just checking to see what two presses does at certain temperature. So in theory, it shouldn't even decarb. So whatever was in there that was already decarbed is gonna stay decarbed, right? Now, truth be told, these are soaked in oil, so there's, you know, the the actual rock itself, whatever. But you see it like it's squishing, it's oozing. Now. But we'll experiment. We're going to experiment with flour, different f temperatures and stuff like that. But first one I wanted to do was a moon rock. All right, that's the time. All right. Let's go to the table. Man, this is a longer video. My basement is trashed. Okay, now I can't have both my hands. <clears throat> this is why eventually I'm going to need a camera person. All right, remember, we started out with a gram. Hmm. Leave that, leave that out to cure. We started with a gram. <clears throat> Here was the first squish, which I'm super impressed with. I mean, look at how golden that oil is. Beautiful oil, beautiful. Now here's the here's the second. Completely mechanical separation. No chemicals involved, just heat and time. Heat and time. Now truth be told, there's probably distillate on here if I had to guess. But yeah. You know. So not much, okay? Not much. Now, if I would have turned the heat up 100%, I think I would have got more out of there. Um, not much. But, that said, there's a whole bunch right here. So, what I should have done is, I just wanted to show you, show everybody something. So, you see how these bags are? You basically just want to make it big enough to where the material is, and that's it. I just wanted to show you what not to do. That was my first example of what not to do. I already learned this in the first attempt. So, Cover your material and then cut. And then what you want to do is make like you just fold it in, fold it in, just fold it and on top itself and it'll squish and squeeze. So all that, see all this oil, there's all oil right here that I'm not going to get back because it all got collected in this screen. Okay, so I'm not going to get a true return is my point. If I had made this bag and just cut it right here, right, cut it to this size. Think about, it. theoretically, all this oil from here over I would still have. Um, and that's, man, you know, that's that's okay. That's okay. But that's what you do not do. You don't do. So don't be afraid to cut the bag down or any of that. And I know probably some of you out there are like, whoa, what are you doing, dude? I don't just, I, I, as I learn something, I'm always going to teach it. And I always teach the what not to do first. And then the what to do. Right? The what not to do first. And then the what to do. So let's get a piece of parchment. Um, I don't need anything big. I don't foresee it being, you know, something crazy. But, um... Right? Yeah. Alright, good. We're good. There's like some... Some goop. Some goop. Nothing major. Alright. Actually, we don't want that on there. So let's not use this one. Let's not use this piece. Sorry, I'm like excited. When I get excited, it's like, ah! Like, dude, chill out. You'll be all right. All right, let me just get this piece of paper. Let me just. Okay, just so you guys can see. You know, don't you do it. One or zero, right? You saw it, zero. All right. Now I'm going to hurry up and do this because you got to keep. Touching your scale. Now let's just see what this puck weighs left over. There's a lot in there. I can see it. I can see the oil like. Uh, 
So cut your cut your parchment down. Cut it. Um, also, this isn't cooled all the way yet, so let's start with this one first. You do need a cooling station. Um, you know, it's pretty cool down here in my basement. So, all right, let's go. Now, this is probably, like I thought, it was going to be, like, super, yeah, super tacky. It's going to be hard to get up. I'm going to have to probably use this other dude. Yeah, I would have to use it like this. Like a plow almost, kind of. Right, like you want to plow it forward and push it. And it just rolls up on there. Um, that's because of the distillate, which I know. Dude, like, look at all... I know. I already know. I already know. All right, I'm going to turn the scale off. We don't need that on right now. It's just wasting power, which is a waste. There's no need to waste, right? All right. Scraping this up. This is why you use parchment paper and not wax paper. Don't use wax paper. You'll be dabbing wax. Um, something about parchment. I don't know. I'm not, I don't know the science behind parchment. I do not know. Don't ask. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, so, so far, look. Okay, I know it doesn't look like much. But remember, we only started with a gram. This is the part where, like, most people are like, uh. So, you know, like, let's say you want me to come and you want me to press your flour, which 100% I will. I'm not the guy who's going to. Still sticky. Should I should have put it in the fridge. I just wanted to. I'm kind of impatient. I'm not the guy, right? Absolutely not the guy who's going to keep your pucks. You just have to pay me for the bag. Because bags aren't cheap. And then 20% of whatever the cost of your flour is. Think about that. It's not much. It's like, dude, wait, what? Yeah. And then I'm just going to give you everything and you take it all home with you and you collect it all. You do all this stuff. I'm just charging you 20% of whatever that flower costs. So, ah, let's just say, for example, you did an eighth. Um, and the eighth was 50 bucks. 20% of 50 bucks is what? Anybody? bucks it's not that bad all right I should I got greedy don't get greedy oh no don't get the flashlight on it this table I went from having nothing on it to like oh I know why because I bought a stupid well not stupid but I bought a lot of things all right zero what is out Let's see where we're at already. Oh, we're already at a quarter. I'm excited now. Now I'm in like a fever pitch to get it. I want to see a half gram. There's no way there's a half gram here, but <clears throat> I'm just saying. Oh, that's point three. Come on. You can do it. Now, if it helps you, if you turn it sideways, okay? Remember, we we're looking for a half gram. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for one half of one gram, 0.5. Now, this problem with the scale is it will shut off after a while. So, if you just keep adding to it, what I'm going to. When you get to the end, look at it, flick it over, flick it up. Right? Flick it up. If you flick it up. Okay. Boom. Keep keep adding to the pile. 0.33. Right down the center is a big... Oh. Yeah, don't worry. Like, I dig it. It gets, like, we are going to do this? Yeah, of course you do. I'm just 
sitting here using my electricity. That's really what you're paying for in the bags. I don't, I'll, have to, I'll give you a quote in the bags. Actually, you know what? Nah, we didn't even do that. Just You just got to buy me a thing of bags, and I'll show you how much they cost. We'll just do that. That way I don't have to buy bags. Which, you can just give me the money, and I'll buy them with my Amazon account, obviously. Alright. If you go fast, too, sometimes, once it starts to, like, harden up and tack up, which it will. It's just like, this is like a distillate end. So there's both. So, like, distillate will kind of... It will tack up after a while. Alright, we're at 0.33. I bet we're at 0.35 now. Let's just see. Oh. we got here's this I'm really looking for a point four yeah point three nine come on man it's not there oh wait there's some in this tab tool though there's some in this it's not there man it's not there it is it's just this is like like who wants to sit here and really watch me do this forever I don't I don't even want to sit here and do this. But dude, it's a waste. Of course it is. It's the whole point of the educational purpose of the video. To learn what not to do, right? Aren't you learning what not to do right now? Alright. For sure. Alright. So, we're going to call it good. Even though I know there's more on there I could get off. It, it becomes kind of like a tedious thing. Now you could save this and use it. You know, like in like your rosin situation. Now there's a little bit on here. There's not much. I'm just going to just get it up real quick. Same concept. First off the rip, you just want to run in linear motion. Uh, there's not, there's not, not at all that much on here. Ah, uh, no, and especially when you do that. I'm just getting a little rambunctious with it. Actually, because I just want to dab it. I'm going to press it and then dab it for use, but alright, here we go. Now, keep in mind, 100% there's definitely alright, we're at 0.42. There's definitely um, 8 one hundredths or, yeah, 8 one hundredths of a, of a gram of oil in there for sure. Like, I'm not no doubt in my mind that it's in there. Now, there's the finished product. Where's the flashlight? Because, like, from the back, look at how clean that is. That is clean medicine right there, Earthlings. Clean medicine. That is, that's, like, clean as clean can be. Doesn't get any cleaner than that. Um, that I know of. I really don't. I mean, well, that's not true. That's not, that's not true. I take that back. You're right. Hash rosin. You could do hash rosin. So you could get trichomes. Make, um, get a, um, get a, what's it called? Uh, uh, what's that thing called? Can't think right now. Sorry. Get like a bag. Bubble bag. All that stuff, right? And set it up. Dude. Now look, you can whip this over heat, low heat. All right, you can you can um oh, you can't see what I'm doing. You can whip this over low heat, which with a heat plate, crock pot, you know you can. Um, now if I put this in the freezer, it'll it'll harden up and then it'll make it easier to collect. But uh, just for sake of argument, let's just take a little 
right? Something, something light. Where's, where's me rig? Start talking like Popeye the Sailor, man. All right, let's go. I'm, I'm excited. I am. You can tell. So I kind of spaced out there for a second. I'm always thinking, like, if you can't sell, you know, that's, that's why I wanted to call this, John, this channel Elon John. But uh, it's, it is, like, it's because it's like rosin mixed with, um, it's rosin, it's uh, flower rosin mixed with distillate. That's why it's like that. But it's so good. All right. Gotta wait. You don't go. You don't go in hot with rosin. That's not. You gotta wait. Seven. You want to go at least six. Right. When you can't wait. All right. We gotta get even. Yeah, we're good even. That side's a little hot. Cheers. Like it tastes like a like a lemon or a lime and nut. <clears throat> Crazy lime, like hard lime. That yeah, all the way down to that bitter taste, whatever that is. <clears throat> it definitely tasted this one. I'm, I just fell in love. Just fell in love. It's crazy. And it's going to be expensive. You know, you got to get parchment paper. <clears throat> it's not expensive, but it's just, it's cost. But if you do it for the right reasons and you can, and you can find yourself some flour, definitely get grams cheaper than dabs. That's 100% pressed, right, from this at a 1.1, <clears throat> what was that, 1 point, yeah, 1.18, so, should have got back more, like I said, there's, it's a lot of it sitting in that. Sitting in that puck. Um, man, that's crazy tasting. Yo. Dude. If you're not, I don't. Hit me up. Like on some real. If you want me to come, I'll just put this out here. If you're in PA, you want me to come to your house and build you one of these, I'll do it. <clears throat> hit me up. I will come. It's going to be like a bill. I mean, you're going to have to pay me. It's not, obviously. But you hit me up and you let me know. And I will come and I will, I will come to your house. <clears throat> and I will assemble this for you. 
you know, we'll figure it out, you know, social distancing and all that stuff. But I think that everybody should have the opportunity to do this. But you hit me up. You hit me up on Instagram. And I'll, I'll do it. I'll just say this much. <clears throat> look online and look at the presses that you can get. Alright. That's all I'm going to say. Look up a 20 ton. 3 by 5 size pleat. Now, if you want the big, big, big boy ones, like the actual like five by seven giant plates, <clears throat> bigger than your phone, because <clears throat> I think that's what my phone is. I think my my phone is like a three by five. What is my phone? I would like to know. I mean, what what's what's it's a couple more minutes, right? Oh yeah, it's three by for sure, right? Oh, three by six. All right, so <clears throat> yeah, those plates are just a little bit bigger. The four by six plates. And then they, I think they have five by seven plates. Like they have crazy big plates. Uh, these are three by five. You want me to do it? Let me know. All right. So I'm going to try to offer two different, <clears throat> different packages. I'm actually going to try to offer three. I was thinking about this. <clears throat> <clears throat> And the reason why I was thinking is because I already built two of them. I built a really small press. Okay? Small press. It's perfect for your desk. You know, there you go. Compress like an eighth. I'll say that. But you have to do multiple presses. And you have to increase your heat each time. And it'll degrade... Right, your material, your end material. That's okay though. We all have budgets, we all have needs. So if you don't need, like if this is something you want to try to, cool. <clears throat> I'm also um like I said, I'm gonna offer a medium, a mid size one. You know, um so we're gonna do like we're gonna do six, twelve, and twenty. I think that's I'm looking at I think uh financially it'll work out for everybody, my end too. It'll be worth it. I'm not gonna make a killing. Cause I don't want, I'm not, I'm not in it to, I just want to be able to just pay my bills and buy herbs and help people. <clears throat> That's it. So if I can come to your house, put this thing together right here, show you how to use it like full on, you know, like I said, look it up. What's a, what's a Nug Smasher mini? It's like 500, 600 bucks, whatever. Right. <clears throat> so what am I going to offer my small one for? I have to think about it. You know, you got to give me lead time. Like, you can't just be like, yo, I want this now. It's not how it works. Lead time, for you who don't know. Lead time is we come to an agreement, and then, you know, you have to send me a certain amount of money up front for cost so I can buy the material. I build it. I tell you how long it's going to take me to build. <clears throat> That's the lead time. So, <clears throat> as of right now, just, <clears throat> I can pretty much do them pretty quick. <laughs> I can knock them out in a day or so. Um, but just, um, yeah, just hit me up. I, I'm, I know my, you know, okay, like, hold all the jokes aside, but, like, I'm super, I'm intelligent to the point where I know that, like, listen, if you're doing this, you're doing this to save money. So that means that you're going to invest in yourself, in your future to save money and, and your health, clean medicine. Because I was kind of like, you know, tired of like, honestly, I'm getting stuff and I put it in my banger from the dispenser even and I, I go to heat it up and it sets it, sets my banger on fire like a bonfire. I was absolutely just tired of that. So that's why I kind of went towards that. And then when I was working with dude for the hemp farm, you know, doing that stuff um, before this whole craziness happened, um, you know, I... Um, I kept telling him, like, man, you should really go this route, go this route, you know, and then, you know, so boom, so I kind of like where we're at, um, now I'm here, and I had the time, I'm like, look, I got the time, and you know what, let me take my unemployment, instead of like getting crazy, you know, my whatever, 
and I know I'm probably going to get my Trump. I, I did fill up my taxes, so I'm probably going to get my 1200 But what if I take that money? And that's what I did. I, I kind of like put the cart before the horse. Um, <laughs> put out a nice chunk of change. Yeah, I put out a thousand bucks in the past couple of days. Um, to build basically, you know, my version of two presses. Um, the starter and then the biggest one. <laughs> and then the middle one. Um, only because I couldn't get the material for the middle one uh, as quick as I wanted to. So I was just like, ah, um, I'm kind of impatient that way. Um, but uh, but yeah, so like, look at the Nug Masher, okay? Look at the Nug Masher. You figure, man, you know, they're 500. I think I can do the small ones for like 400, maybe. Maybe even 300. I think I could. I mean, it's just, it's super easy. Um, you know, there's like safety things. That's why I want to show people like there is, there is safety issues. Um, you know, and I'm, I make everybody sign a waiver that when you buy it, like use it your own risk because when I'm not around and whatever you do to whatever, like that's on you. I can't, I can't be responsible for what you do in your house when I'm not there. So you're going to sign this waiver saying that <clears throat> I, I'm not liable and, you know, for anything that happens after this, if you decide to get crazy and <laughs> modify it and try to change it instead of now, I'm also going to have a, a buyback program where you can trade them back in, <clears throat> right? You trade, you trade it back in. And what I'll do is I'll use some of the parts for the bigger one. If you want to upgrade, right? Cause I think that's only fair. Like what the heck? You can't use it and you want to get a bigger one. What are you going to do with this? There's a reason why you're upgrading. You don't need the small one anymore. Well, I'll buy it back from you, right? Uh, you can use that towards the next one at a discount. Um, <clears throat> so there you go. So we'll have that. And then, you know, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to, there's all kinds of things I'm going to do. I'm going to do rental units. I want to do rental units. I think that, you know, with the buyback program, if I get them back, um, and then again, a waiver, of course, um, you know, not it, the, the, the rental, the rental thing will probably work out for a lot of people who just want to try it out. <laughs> I'll do like a hundred bucks a week, you know, whatever for the small ones or something. I'm just, this is all just, I'm just, we're just thinking out loud here, but wow, man, I'm pretty, I'm pretty rocked, pretty rocked. So. Let me get back into I got some I got some stuff to do. I gotta clean up. Um I just really you know, shout out to Frugal, um, connoisseur. <clears throat> you know, dude pushed me and you know, I'm I'm not gonna lie, I'm just like everybody like, man, I don't wanna do it. I don't want you like it, man. But then I didn't, you know what? Look at me now, man. Dude, you pushed me to go hard and I did go hard. You know, and I kind of, you, you gave me some uh, perspective, my man. So I appreciate it. Forever grateful for that. Um, yeah, so that's it. That's what happens, right? When a, when a vet, an unemployed vet takes his unemployment check and builds a machine to make medicine with. And then uses that to squash. A moon rock. Cresco's caviar. Rah! Right? So that's pretty cool. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for saying hi. <clears throat> Be cool. Alright? Be cool. Be cool. And peace. <laughs>